guys wanted to make another video for you of a uh, different um, type of Tinder that uh, experiment that I have, kind of similar to the one that I did with the um, uh, dryer lint and all that stuff from a previous video. But this one is using uh, paraffin wax and jute, or also known as twine. And you just basically purchase a big roll of twine and melt down the paraffin wax. Paraffin wax I buy, I just get it off of Amazon. It's a bath um, bath paraffin wax. Uh, the reason I like this, they also, it also comes in different, like the bars and stuff like that, but I like these because it's like a real easy to melt, little pellet type thing, so it melts down really fast and easy. Um, one of the things I suggest whenever melting paraffin wax is that you actually do like a... Uh, some sort of a container inside of another one uh, to where, let's say for instance you have a saucepan or whatever, you put water in it bring up the water to a boil and then you take a, a like a tin can or coke can or something, just cut the top off the coke can that way you're not getting wax all inside of your nice um, cookware or anything like that, you're just boiling water and then something else inside of it that's heating up the, the wax um, but what you do um, after you've melted down the wax is you just take off. What I do is I grab um, strings of the jute and cut cut them into um, like one foot or two foot sections so that you have some sort of a manageable length. And as you can see, you just dip it in there. St stuff's kind of thick, or, or not thick, but stiff. And it's just because it's been soaked in the paraffin wax. Um, what you do, you just leave it in there for a couple seconds, allow it to kind of penetrate into the fibers itself, and then you can stick it in the refrigerator if you want. But after a while, it just dries up and kind of hardens into something that's. I mean, you can put this, this, this alone. This this little bunch right here could last for, I don't know, probably 50 to 75 fires, because there's several strands here. And then all you really need to do is take off like maybe an inch or two off of each of these and that's enough to really get a fire going um, what I've done is I've balled up a little bit here already because all you do as I said t take off one or two inches and then you just kinda knead it into a big nappy ball like that so you have this it's kind of waxy feeling but not real waxy and again I'll use another, this is actually a different uh, striker than the one I used before this is actually a flint and steel one uh, so let me go ahead and see if I can get this on the first try here, like I did oh, so luckily on the other one. See inside, after you break it open here, this actually, uh, this one's pretty nice, this is a Gerber one. Um, breaks open in the center, and you have your flint and steel in two separate sections there. Um, and on one side of this, Whoops. Is the um, there's cotton in here, which is another good uh, substance for lighting really quick and easy. But for sake of this video, we're using my special stuff instead. Okay. Now, here we go. Let's see if I can get this on the first try. There you go. Second try. Good enough. But as you can see, that stuff burns easily and quickly, right away, you know. It just took one spark onto it. The first try was just to fail of the actual lighter, it's, or the flint and steel itself. But one of the downfalls to this one is it doesn't burn for very long, but it is a pretty intense burn when it is lit. Um, what I would suggest, really, whenever you're lighting a fire with this, is that you have all of your sticks and everything already there, and you kind of put this underneath of something to where as soon as it flares up, it catches everything above it, and then you got a fire going pretty much instantly. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this one.